I have two books left from the library, and I'm finishing one right now so I can start reading the other one. The End of Oil and um, Love in the Time of Cholera by... Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Yeah. I like, to, uh, I like to read before going to sleep and read in my downtime. And the thing is, though, if you're, if you're like trying to find something to do here, there's enough to do that there's not actually that much time to read. All my life I've been a traveling man All my life I've been a traveling man So the first few days it was, you know, five or six, but I think a few dozen books a day at least get taken out here and they get brought back. Too. First, I went to Wall Street for, um, it was like two, two days, maybe three, and um, wa watched what was happening there. I came here and saw the mass arrests on uh, Monday night, so I went back to my hometown and packed up the bookstore, packed up the tent. So I set up and then donations just started coming in. Um, they, the librarians started coming in, organizing everything with me, just to, to kind of take in charge to make this a really functional information hub um, for the movement and, uh, I guess, left wing ideology. It's just humbling to see the people here just every day waking up, thinking about how they can do their own internal PR, thinking about how they can um, more succinctly define their, their grievances, um, just to, how they can help to clean the place, how they can help to police themselves. It's going to awaken more people to the fact that the situation is not hopeless, that there are a lot of people out there who are willing to put their modality on hold in order to awaken other people to the dire consequences of unchecked capitalism. Mm -hmm.